Hello, I'm Ethan Burks. University of Indiana has canceled all in-person classes for two weeks following spring break to prevent any spread of the coronavirus. Although there are no confirmed cases of the virus in any of the IU campuses, the university will switch to all online classes as a preemptive measure. As of now, there have been six confirmed cases of the virus in Indiana alone, and the university says classes will switch back to in-person on Monday, April 6th. Grocery stores are taking extra steps to keep customers and employees healthy from the coronavirus. Employees at Kroger have been encouraged to continue practicing safe sanitary habits. Kroger spokesperson Eric Halverson says the stores will have more hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes available for customers. He also says cold and flu products have to be limited because of their high demand to only five per person. He also says guidelines for employees working with meats and produce will be closely monitored as those workers will have to change their plastic gloves more often than normal. And Bloomington's Planning Commission approved the design for a new 4th Street parking garage last night. We need this garage. It's not a new garage. It's a replacement garage. And as the case has been made, we've been without it for 14 months now, and it is hurting. The new structure will be built on the same site as the old one that was torn down last fall. The proposal says the garage will stand seven stories tall with 537 parking spaces. The city's director of economic and sustainable development, Alex Crawley, says the city will make the garage environmentally friendly by adding electric charging stations, bike racks, and solar panels. Members of the public who were against the proposal at the meeting last night say they don't want people to have more of an incentive to park downtown. And tonight for weather, we're, we're looking at a low of 40 degrees, mostly cloudy. In the next three days, rain, rain, and more rain. For more information, please visit WTIUnews.org.